Now let's take a look at some distant stars. This star, known as V1331 CYG, is a young star that is starting to contract to become a main sequence star similar to the Sun. It lies inside a dust cloud. We're looking down on the star at one of its poles, which allows us to see the dust cloud enveloped around it. Usually, for young stars like this, all we get to see is the dust cloud. The star at the center of this picture is a red supergiant called UY Scuti. It is very dim, but appearances can be deceptive in astronomy. This star is actually about 340,000 times more luminous than the Sun. In fact, it's a candidate for being the largest star in the entire Milky Way galaxy. Astronomers believe the actual size of UY Scuti is big enough to hold 5 billion suns. Here we see the super hot star WR124 and the hot clumps of gas it is ejecting into the space around it. Ejection gases are traveling at over 150,000 kilometers per hour. That's 93,000 miles per hour. The cloud, known as Nebula M167, is estimated to be no more than 10,000 years old. That's very young in astronomical terms. Here's a Hubble image of the luminous blue variable star AG Carina. It has evolved from the main sequence with 20 times the mass of the Sun. AG Carina is losing its mass at a phenomenal rate. Its mass to energy conversion is creating powerful stellar winds with speeds up to 7 million kilometers per hour, or 4.3 million miles per hour. These powerful winds are responsible for the shroud of material visible in this image. 